Okay, let's go check out the other doors. Great, assholes. It's just a room full of assholes. There's nothing in here. So there's one more door down here. There it is. Aha, the final tarot card. It's just a candle. <laughs> no shit. The High Priestess Tarot card. There's a bunch of stuff in this room. The name Claudia Wolf is written very small on the cover. Looks like it's her diary. November 10. She didn't die then. She was born. I knew that for a fact. But then why haven't I found her yet? They were supposed to need her power to build paradise for the happiness of the people. She was supposed to be reborn for that. I'd really like to see her. November 14. Read the book, read the book of praise. I want to thank Father for lending me such an invaluable book. I found what I've been searching for in there, how to awaken God, but it's much too cruel. Will I be able to pull it off when I see her? November 16. I was free all day, so I read a modern history of refugees and young slaves' child exploitation. I don't want to be a mere bystander in this world. I can't do anything now, though, and that's what's hard. Okay, what's this? It's an old birthday card on the desk, so she was still hanging on to this. Happy birthday. To little Claudia, happy sixth birthday. I love you as if you were my real sister. Here's to you. Huh. So Claudia was, you know, basically the sister to Alessa. I see. Alright, so now we've got all the tarot cards. We have to go back to the room. Fucker. Don't get out of my way. Alright, you shithead. I'll go in the classroom then. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Oh, there's another door here. Oh, I can't get to it. Yeah, the desks block it. That was close. I gotta go back. <laughs> Pretty cool, the walls are covered in blood. Get up. She's kinda hurt, I can feel she's vibrating. Yep, alright, let's use that first aid kit. There we go. A couple ampoules left for the end. Right, you're here. Ew. All getting covered in blood. Let's go up. Or go down, sorry. Disgusting. Let me clean up crew here. Alright, I'm going the right way. Fucking idiots. Shut up! It's the right door here. Uh, coming up to it. It's on my left. I guess this is going to be the end here. So I pretty should save and then you do the tarot card puzzle. And then get ready for whatever happens. Nicely done. 
Okay, so let's read this again. I'm going to read the explanation and write it down. Let me get a piece of paper. Hold on. Because i got to write down the relation of these people to each other. Oh, another Silent Hill puzzle. Yet another one. So first let me write down the names of the cards that I have. Okay. Let's take a look at our inventory. We've got... The High Priestess... We've got the Hanged Man. We've got the Moon. We've got the Fool. We've got Eye of Night. Okay. Now let's read the, the rhyme again. You need five magic cards if you want to see. What do you do? I'll tell you. Okay. The first thing you must know is that there's something in each row, but that is not the half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. So what it sounds to me is that there's, there is a card in every row, but there's no, no, no row is full. Three cards. Okay. The upside down man under the ground. To his right, to his left, there's no one around. So it sounds like the Hanged Man is in the bottom row. I'm drawing it right now. See, I drew nine, you can't really see it, nine circles, because that's where those positions. So it sounds like the Hanged Man is in the bottom middle, so I put an H there. Okay. Leave him alone, though, his tears are profound, so ignore that. The moon is up above the sky, fuller crescent floating high. Twinkling light, it sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. So what that's telling me is that the clown's in the middle row somewhere and the moon's directly above his head. So we know the fool's in the middle and the moon's above him. But we don't know what, which one. We don't know if it's here, here, or here that he's going to be. Okay? We don't know yet. Your Excellency, praying to God Most High... Do you think you could tell me why you always look up at the night sky? Okay, so now what that's telling me is that the High Priestess is also in the middle row, and she's looking up at the Eye of Night. But we don't know if she's looking at an angle or what. I'm going to have to look at the card to figure that out. So I'm going to say Priestess and the Eye. Okay. Did you have it now? You didn't forget? One major point you must not omit. And now at the last, before you take a whack, there's one more hint to help you keep on track. Scary and hateful, that thing in the night. Better be careful. It's not on your right. Turn to the left, and you'll keep it in sight. So what it sounds to me is the priestess is in the middle row, and she's looking left. So it might be priestess, eye of night, fool, moon, hanged man. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to fill it in. That's what I'm thinking it is right now. I know it's hard to focus, but that's what I'm thinking. So we're going to try that out. You open the door, peril, bullshit, balls, shaft. Okay. This is the eye of night. Use. Eye of night goes here. The moon. I'm going to put it here. High Priestess, going to put here, she's looking up and to the left. Hanged Man in the middle, nothing to his left or right. And the Fool right here using the moon as a crown. That didn't work. Fuck. Okay, there's one other possibility. The priestess could be here, the that the eye knight is there, and then the fool's over there. So we can switch those around. There were two possibilities here. Okay, so now the moon will put here. Eye of knight will put here. Priestess will put here. And the fool will put here. What the fuck? So the poem's wrong. 
Oh my god, the poem is wrong. Oh.